Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about best 8 applications to learn languages. And this is from my point of view. So these are the best of the best, in my opinion. I tried other apps and I didn't really like them, so I, I'm not going to talk about them today. Now the first app that I want to talk about is Cake. It's really fun to learn in this app. This app actually is to learn English language. In this app you learn English through short videos. And those videos are actually from famous shows or series or movies that you like or songs. Isn't that so fun? So basically you learn English phrases and words by listening to those fun short videos. And actually you can find videos from YouTube channels. It's a really fun way to learn a language. And it's an amazing way because you learn English from native speakers and you learn by listening to them using those expressions or words through their daily conversations. So you practice reading, listening and speaking. And listening to those people speaking in your favorite movie or a song or whatever is an amazing way to improve your English and the good thing about it is that you get notifications every day and what I like about those notifications is that they're not just telling you oh you have a lesson so come to the app and learn they actually write the expression or the word that you need to learn on that day but without writing it completely so you actually get a little bit curious which will make you get into the app and learn that expression or word and this is a fantastic way because I don't know but it worked for me and I guess it's gonna work for so many people because people normally are curious <laughs> and they have this character Jake so you can talk to Jake through conversations you can ask Jake for a word that you don't know the meaning of it in your original language and Jake is gonna help you with that and you know what Jake is gonna give you a few letters and you are gonna reorder those letters to form a word it's a really fun app and you're gonna enjoy using it now let's move to the app number two Duolingo I think so many of you know this app already but I want to talk about it anyway it's also a fun app to learn languages and it's a um, game like lessons you can learn so many languages through this app and it's designed by language experts. The lessons are not complicated at all, they are very simple, and this app is good actually to grow your skills in reading, speaking, writing, and listening. And you can also build your vocabulary and grammar skills. It has very fun exercises to help you remember the words or the grammar that you have learned. I really find it a good app to learn languages. Now app number three, Bilingua app. I love, love, love this app. It's so simple and it's a story-based app. So you can learn language through reading stories and learning vocabs. And this app actually has really famous stories out there. And I mean children's stories. And it's not bad at all. Actually, it's the perfect way to learn language through children's stories. Because they are designed in the first place to teach children how to speak a certain language. So it's a simple and amazing way to learn a language. So you can actually listen to the story and you can find the story written in the original language and also you can find it translated in your original language. So while you're listening to the story, you follow along with the reader in the original language and in your mother tongue language. So by doing so actually you practice listening, speaking and reading. And I promise it's a very fun way to learn a language. You can listen to the story as many times as you want and you can find vocabularies and words about the story so that you can memorize them. And those stories are read by native speakers. It's simple and effective at the same time. Now app number four. It's Busu. This app has few languages for you to learn and you can use this app to learn a language and it doesn't matter what your level is. And they have a study plan feature which is very good and making a plan is very essential if you want to learn a language or if you want to learn anything in life. Now this app is really simple to use. You can find the lessons in order from the simplest to the hardest so you don't really get lost when uh, learning and every lesson has few sections like the vocabulary section and then the dialogue or conversation section and then the quiz section they're just in a good order so that one makes it easy to use they help you understand the grammar and they help you memorize vocabularies and they actually explain grammars and, and expressions to you so that you can understand them well and actually you can receive a certification from them after taking a quiz or an exam now app number five it's memorize I love this app. I think it's obvious from its name. So it's an app that helps you memorize vocabularies, expressions, verbs, 
and it's created by language experts. This app works like magic when it comes to memorize words, verbs, and phrases. I actually tried it once. I was trying to learn a language that I don't speak, um, and I, I know nothing about it. I learned two words, but the way they taught me those words, I swear that until this day, I still remember those two words. It's amazing how it works. Because like, isn't that how you learn languages? Like, the more vocabs and phrases and words that you have, the more fluent you become in a language. So they take a word, but they don't teach you the word first. They teach you the letters of the word. And then they put those letters together to create a word. And then they teach you that word. And they repeat it in, in, in different ways. And you hear native speakers saying this word. So you don't just memorize it, but you actually pronounce it like native speakers. And they have very fun and different ways to help you memorize the words. I really love this app and if, if you are learning a language, I think you should give it a try. Now let's move to the app number six. It's English Score. Now this app is just for English. So you can take a free English test through this app and after finishing the test, you can get an instant results. Like you don't have to wait for days. And based on those results, you can get a certification from them and you can actually use this certification in companies. Like, it's a way to prove your English level. But there's something about it, like, um, if you want to take the test, they want you to open your camera. Like, they, they don't give you a permission to take a test if you don't open your camera, because they want to make sure that you are alone while taking the test. And they have some courses recommendations to help you learn English and to help you prepare for IELTS or TOEFL exams. I think it's a good app if you want to know your level at English. Now, app number seven. It's Speedy Grammar. It's a very, very good app. And it's one of my favorites. This app helps you with learning grammars and with building your vocabulary. And I think that's why I love it, because um, I love learning grammars. I mean, for me, learning a language starts with learning grammars. I know for so many people, it's not like that. But for me, I can't learn a language if I have no idea about the grammars. You know what I mean? It's the basic that can help you build your language after that. And yeah, I just want to mention that this app is an English learning app. Now this app teaches you grammars in a very simple way. So they give you the grammar and then they explain how to use this grammar and when. They explain that in details and in a very simple way that everyone can understand. So you have a clear picture about this grammar and how to use it. So they give you some sentences and they ask you about when to use um, a certain grammar, a certain word, a certain verb. You can find all grammars in there. You can also find a list of irregular verbs and, and so on, like so many things. It's a very good and fun app to use if you want to learn English, of course. And you can also improve your pronunciation through this app. Now let's move to app number eight. American English. It's also to learn English. And let me tell you guys, it is my favorite, favorite app. It's been on my phone for a long, long time and I can't do without it. I feel like it's essential, you know, to have it on my phone. You can find everything you need in English in this app. Believe me, I'm not even exaggerating. You can find conversations, grammars, like all the grammars, words, phrases, idioms. This app has over 400 lessons on life and American culture. You can learn how to speak like an American native speaker, plus it has over 3,500 English idioms and phrasal verbs, and more than 700 common and useful expressions and phrases. Like, literally, you can find anything you want when it comes to learn English in this app. Now, app number nine, it's Mandly. This app has almost 33 languages, and it's very simple and easy to use. The lessons in there are in a good order, so you don't get lost, and it has very different topics. It helps you to memorize words and vocabulary, and it also helps you with forming a whole sentence. And what I love about it is when they write the sentence for you, and they ask you to rewrite the sentence in the language you are learning, the good thing that you can find in there is that those words in the sentence, you can click on those words individually, and they give you the meaning of a word immediately, 
or if it's a verb they give you an explanation about that verb like how to use it and all the grammars that you need to help you use that verb correctly and it's always just one click so you click on the verb and then you have a box of information about it and of course it has so many exercises to help you uh, improve your language and you can find other people uh, on that platform learning languages as well and everyone is collecting points so there's a challenge in there and you need to collect a high number of points like the more you study and the more you progress the more points you get so you can compete with others and it's a good thing because it motivates you to even study more this app also has a calendar to set your daily lessons and it reminds you of your daily lessons every day and actually if you listen to those notifications and have your daily listen every day with them you are gonna improve a lot in the language you are learning and there's this conversation section and I like it a lot, it's so fun so you have this native speakers speaking and every time they say a sentence you repeat it after them until you finish the whole conversation and then you listen to the conversation in your own voice it's so fun and it's gonna help you a lot with your pronunciation so you're gonna know the mistakes that you are making which will make you improve in the next time so you can repeat that conversation until you feel like you are getting better at pronunciation you can use this app for free, but they have a paid version uh, as well. And the paid version actually has more lessons than the free one. You can find so many lessons in there. They have a monthly and a yearly subscription. And now actually they have a discount that goes up to 95%. So if you want to take my advice, go and try this app. And if you love it, you can get a monthly or yearly subscription. Now that they have this big discount, you're going to find the link in the description box. If you try any of those applications, can you tell me what you think about them and if you like them? I'll be reading all your comments. Yeah, those were the applications that I find most useful to learn languages. But if you are using any useful and good application to learn a language, can you please write that in the comment section below to help me and others to learn more about uh, good applications? And before I end up this video, I want to tell you that I have a video on this channel where I talk about how to learn any language less than 6 months. So if you are learning a language, this video might be useful for you. You're gonna find it here. I'm gonna put it in the description box as well. You can find good tips in there. And it's from my own experience. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.